was just, you could tell she was in so much pain. Tonight, we're hearing from the sister of the woman injured after a crash on I-465. A semi was carrying a car crusher when it malfunctioned and then slammed into a bridge overpass. But there's some good news to tell you about tonight. The Rockville overpass just reopened. There will be some lane and ramp restrictions, though, but at least you'll be able to finally get onto I-465 there. Now, 465 northbound lanes will stay closed between I-70 and Rockville Road. Okay, so that means drivers will be dealing with traffic headaches possibly for days. And let's take a live look at the traffic map here. Traffic right now is moving well in the green areas where it is red. That means there are slowdowns. The yellow sections mean that uh, things are slower. Now, Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk joins us now with developments happening at Rockville Road at the moment. Rich? John, just moments ago, INDOT reopened one half of the Rockville Road Bridge. We finally have traffic moving in two directions, one lane each way, still a place to avoid. Contractors are going to be working through the night, clearing out damaged and broken concrete, trying to get 465 opened as soon as possible. That may take days. About 8.30 this morning, chunks of concrete, hundreds of them, some as big as basketballs, suddenly rained down on rush hour traffic. First responders were shocked. I think our guys, when they pulled up, they could not believe that uh, there wasn't anyone more seriously injured uh, due to the amount of debris, what happened here, the cars involved. So everyone is extremely lucky. The woman driving this car, rescuers say, was the luckiest of all. Concrete smashed through the windshield, hitting Christine Haraberta. The 28-year-old survived. She is hospitalized in fair condition. Witnesses told police a semi hauling a car crushing machine hit the bridge. For an unknown reason, one of the massive machine's pneumatic arms activated, rising up and hitting the bridge. Traveling at highway speeds, it destroyed four of the 14 beams. We don't know if it was a mechanical failure, if somebody accidentally hit a button. That's part of our investigation we're continuing to work on. As repair crews labor to make the bridge safe enough for traffic to pass underneath, rebuilding the damaged portion of the bridge is expected to take months. Those contractors are going to be working through the night trying to get that broken, damaged concrete out of the way. A permanent fix, rebuilding that half of the bridge is expected to take months, probably more than a million dollars. We expect the state will go after the trucking company and its insurance company trying to get that money back. It's a story we're going to be talking about for quite a while. Yeah. All right, thank you. Rich Van Wyk thank reporting you. tonight. And one of the people injured in today's crash is in surgery tonight. In fact, her sister spoke with our own David McNally, who tells us she's in a lot of pain. And he continues our team coverage tonight. Dave? The victim is 28-year-old Christine Harabuda. She's right now in surgery at Eskenazi Hospital to repair her damaged right upper arm. Her sister says this all happened very, very quickly and almost as quickly she had help right by her side. So a nurse actually came out, out of nowhere and said, I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse, let me help. And so she was like checking her pulse, checking her making sure she had blood flow in her in her lower arm because she got hit in the upper arm and um, put the car in park for her like crawled through a window or something to get to put it in park and was helping her making sure she doesn't move or anything she says it took first responders a while to get her out of her heavily damaged car which her sister says she only bought a couple months ago inside that damaged car the victim jammed in a very tight window of safety and basically she has an open fracture which means the bone is out of her arm and it's shattered it's broken in multiple places and she has a nerve damage where she can't move her hands very well so they're going to surgery right now and they're going to try to repair the, the bone with metal plates or whatever they're not sure until they get in there and hopefully the nerve damage kind of fixes itself but they're not sure if it's going to be a long recovery or a fast recovery for the nerve damage she didn't see anything all of a sudden. She just no, she said she was just driving and just all of a sudden she realized she couldn't even use her, her arm and she realized she was being hit in the face with stuff and it was just the shattered glass. Her sister says Christine is right-handed. She is in a program giving special resources to children at IPS. Uh, she was actually starting a graduate program in art and she needs that right arm is crucial to the work that she does. We'll have more on the night beat, including how a split-second decision saved her life. Back to you.